Hey guys, what's up? It's AppleCritics from AppleCritics.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the HomePod Mini versus the HomePod and just giving you my overall thoughts, opinions, impressions, and my complete and thorough review of these two flagship speakers made by Apple. So back in October, Apple unveiled the HomePod Mini as the first addition to the popular HomePod lineup with a new spherical design uh, with the S5 chip. Now it also does come with a more affordable price tag of $99 and the HomePod Mini is much more accessible and versatile than the original HomePod that is on the left. So the original HomePod actually continues to be sold by Apple, uh, which is good, and it's being sold at the price of $299 at over three times the price of the HomePod Mini. You're probably wondering if you should consider the larger original HomePod or if you should choose a new HomePod Mini. So in this video, I'm just gonna basically be telling you. So I'll be going over the pros and cons of each device and then giving my final decision at the end of the video. So the HomePod Mini and the HomePod share a number of similar features. Uh, so firstly, uh, the main similarities that both these devices do have is the multi-room audio, uh, the stereo pair capable. So uh, with the stereo pair capable, you can have two or three or four, you can have multiple uh, HomePods and then you can combine them to make one unique sound. Uh, so uh, that's really cool that you can basically daisy chain uh, multiple HomePods uh, and you can just start with two and then you can have that full uh, experience of the HomePod. Uh, and some people buy four HomePod minis, some people buy uh, eight HomePod minis or however many you get the point with the stereo pair capable. Now it does have Siri and they both are upward facing and they have the audio conductive fabric on it. If you actually feel both these devices, you'll feel that it has this mesh around it that actually uh, is a unique feeling for an Apple product. Now it has a seamless audio handoff. Uh, so that audio handoff is basically when you have uh, your iPhone or any uh, Apple device that has the NFC capabilities and you just put it right over the HomePod and then it'll start playing music and you can just uh, do it vice versa. You can put it over again and then it'll switch the music uh, from your iPhone to your HomePod. And then if you do it again, it'll go from your HomePod back to your iPhone. So it's really unique in that way. Now it also is compatible with the Smart Home Hub and some of the main features that are embedded within uh, these HomePods that are both similar include the intercom feature, the Find My feature, the Siri shortcuts, the ambient sounds, and the music alarms. And both these devices are available in only two colors, so white and space gray. And as you can see, I both and as you can see, I do have the space gray for both these devices. So those are basically the main similarities. So once again, the multi-room audio, their stereo pair capable, Siri and upward facing display, audio conductive fabric with the mesh, seamless audio handoff, smart home hub, intercom, find my, Siri shortcuts, ambient sounds, and music alarms. And it's also available in white and space gray. Uh, so those are the main similarities. Even so, there are a lot of meaningful differences between these two, uh, HomePod and the HomePod mini, which justifies the $200 price difference, including the design, audio technologies, and spatial awareness. So the main differences between these two devices, uh, let's first start off with the HomePod, which is the larger one out of these two. So the main difference is that the HomePod is large and it has a capsule design. Whereas this HomePod mini is compact and has a spherical shape uh, right here. So you can see it's a much different design. And if we compare it to the HomePod, you can see it's much larger and wider and a much uh, more uh, capsule like design compared to a spherical design of the HomePod mini. Now the HomePod has the A8 chip versus the HomePod mini having the uh, latest S5 chip. I must point out that the first HomePod came out in February of 2018 versus the new HomePod, which came out in November of 2020. Now, in terms of the speakers, it has a high excursion woofer and seven tweeters uh, in the original HomePod. And in the HomePod mini, you have the full range driver and dual passive radiators. And there's six microphones in the original HomePod versus three microphones in the uh, HomePod mini. It has spatial awareness uh, and it has the home theater with Apple TV 4K. And the HomePod mini does not have spatial awareness or home theater with Apple TV 4K. It only just has uh, the U1 chip. And that's the main differences between these two devices. So the HomePod mini is actually 3.3 inches tall and it's much smaller than the original HomePod, which is actually seven inches tall. Uh, so that's, you can see that there's a big difference between the two. 
Uh, and the HomePod Mini also has a compact uh, spherical design, uh, like we mentioned earlier, while the original HomePod is just much more bulky. Uh, so you can see the main difference between these two. Uh, so you could basically uh, put it on top of the original HomePod and you can just see the main uh, design difference between those two. So the HomePod is just larger than the HomePod Mini to accommodate more internal components uh, for a fuller uh, audio experience. So that's why it's larger. It uh, just has uh, some better ability to fill up the room with sound uh, and that's just something I definitely noticed. Now both these devices are covered in Apple's audio conductive mesh material. Uh, so the HomePod and HomePod Mini also share Siri waveform that appears on top. So whenever you say the words, so if you say, hey Siri, you can see once you say, hey Siri, you'll see that there'll be a waveform right at the top. And that's a feature that both these devices do have. So you can see that's what it looks like at the top whenever you have a Hey Siri request. You can see that it has a much different waveform. And you can see it takes up the full uh, display of the HomePod Mini. So that's the main difference between when you activate Hey Siri on both these devices. Now I can see in terms of volume controls, you can see that there's the volume controls that are present. So you just turn up the volume or turn down the volume. And you can just see how prominent it is. Now we can see the volume controls on the original HomePod right here. So you can turn it up and turn it down uh, as we adjust the music. Now both these HomePods are wired, so you can see that there's uh, both a wired cable on both of them, so they're not wireless or anything like that. Uh, so uh, neither of these are portable, so that's the main takeaway from that. So the HomePod Mini's compact spherical design is actually more discreet than its larger original HomePod and will be the preferred devices for tables and surfaces where you have limited space or you don't want it to stand out. Uh, so likewise, the larger HomePod will be more appropriate on TV units in areas with more open space. So uh, the HomePod Mini can basically fit on any table, whereas the HomePod uh, is just a lot bigger and it just definitely uh, stands out much more. Now in terms of audio technology, the audio hardware is the most important area between these two HomePods. The HomePod Mini offers a single full range driver powered by a neodymium uh, magnet and pair of force canceling passive radiators, which enables deep bass and crisp high frequencies. And on the other hand, the original HomePod features a large Apple design woofer for deep clean bass and custom array of seven beam forming tweeters that provide pure high frequency acoustics, each with its own amplifier and directional control. Uh, so the main difference between both these devices is that the bass on the original HomePod uh, can shake the room, so to speak. So the original HomePod has just the better speaker system overall, and you can't even compare it to the HomePod Mini because the HomePod Mini is much smaller. So how can you expect a smaller device to drive the same amount of design compared to this bigger original HomePod? So uh, just the original HomePod can adapt to any room and can fill up that room with sound. Uh, and even when it's at 100%, it's very loud on the original HomePod versus 100% on the HomePod Mini is loud, but it does not necessarily fill up the room. So both these devices actually use Apple's design acoustic waveguide to direct the flow of sound down and out uh, toward the bottom of the speaker for an immersive 360 degree audio experience. And this allows users to place the HomePod almost anywhere in the room and hear consistent sound. However, the original HomePod's larger size allows it to achieve a wider, more spacious sound stage. And the original HomePod will deliver richer, fuller sound compared to the HomePod Mini. And the HomePod Mini will likely deliver clean and functional sound, but there's no doubt the added size and audio hardware of the larger HomePod overshadows it significantly. Now, in terms of microphones, the HomePod Mini uses a three microphone array to listen for the word the Siri. And a fourth inward facing microphone helps isolate sound coming from the speaker to improve voice detection when music is playing. The larger HomePod uses an array of six microphones for the same reason. So these microphones help to cancel echo, enable Siri to understand whether they are near the device or standing across the room. Even while the loud music is playing, however, it is unclear if the added microphones on the HomePod are able to counteract uh, its larger and louder sound profile. While the HomePod Mini simply doesn't need a six microphone array due to its smaller size, or if it is at a point of material difference between these two models when it comes to sound isolation. In terms of processor and software, the HomePod uses an A8 chip from the iPhone 6, iPad Mini 4, and Apple TV HD, while the HomePod Mini uses the S5 chip from the Apple Watch Series 5 and the Apple Watch SE. The HomePod's processor allows it to use advanced software for real-time acoustic modeling, audio beam forming, and echo cancellation. And the HomePod Mini uses its processor to maximize the performance of its less capable audio hardware in an attempt to achieve a big sound 
out of a compact design. The Apple S5 chip in the HomePod Mini works with advanced software to analyze the unique characteristics of the music and apply complex tuning models to optimize loudness and adjust the dynamic range and control the movement of the driver and passive radiators in real time. The A8 chip in the larger HomePod likewise performs some unique functions such as bass management through real-time software modeling that ensures the speaker delivers the deepest and cleanest bass possible with low distortion. Ultimately, the HomePod's processor is not a very important consideration when it comes to choosing between these two models, but the A8 is older but more powerful chip, while the S5 is a newer but less powerful chip in the HomePod Mini. So both these chips run the same operating system and deliver appropriate computational audio with a comparable level of performance. Now in terms of spatial awareness, the larger original HomePod uses spatial awareness to sense its location in the room. This allows it to automatically adjust and optimize the audio based on its location and the room for an improved sound quality and the HomePod can detect walls and corners and uses this information with its direct tweeters uh, to deliver sound evenly across the room while reducing distortion and echo and only the original HomePod has spatial awareness and the HomePod mini does not have this feature. Now in terms of the U1 chip, the HomePod mini contains one feature that the original HomePod lacks which is the U1 chip. So the Apple design U1 chip is an ultra wideband chip which performs uh, directional and proximity based operation. So the HomePod mini uses the U1 chip to detect when other U1 devices such as iPhone 12 are nearby. This allows it to uh, more quickly hand off audio and interact with nearby devices as well as display relevant information on devices that are close to the HomePod mini. Now beyond this however the full potential of the U1 in the HomePod mini does not uh, seem to have uh, been realized but in the future U1 could facilitate close range data transfer, improve AR experiences, and track the user's location within the room. Now Apple now seems to be adding the U1 chip to all of its new devices with the U1 chip appearing in the iPhone 12 lineup and the Apple Watch Series 6. Now in terms of stereo sound, adding a second HomePod to your setup enables stereo sound to create a wider sound stage for richer, more enveloping sound. Each HomePod is able to play its own channel of either left or right sound while separating out both the ambient and direct energy. Uh, so both these devices can perform automatic detection and balance of two speakers using both direct and related audio. Even though the two speakers act as one, each HomePod communicates with each other so that only one speaker responds to your Siri requests. Now while the HomePod and the HomePod Mini support the stereo pair capability, you cannot pair a HomePod Mini and an original HomePod together. Instead, you can only pair two original HomePods or two Minis as stereo speakers. Both HomePods support multi-room audio and can be mixed together using the functionality but not achieve stereo sound. Now in terms of the home theater with the Apple TV 4K, the original HomePod also supports home theater with Apple TV 4K. This allows the HomePod to provide a more immersive home theater experience when it is paired with the Apple TV 4K. By offering the surround sound and Dolby Atmos, the feature is reliant on the directional and spatial awareness capability of the original HomePod, so it is not available on the HomePod Mini. Two HomePod Minis can nevertheless still provide stereo sound for the Apple TV, but not the full home theater experience of the original HomePod. So if you intend to use a HomePod or a pair of HomePods as TV speakers with the Apple TV 4K, there's no doubt that the original HomePod will provide a much better audio experience. Now in conclusion, Overall, it's clear that the HomePod and the HomePod Mini are products that have different purposes. The HomePod is a more full-featured, high-end speaker for excellent uh, sound quality, while the HomePod Mini is intended to be more versatile. This is reflected in the HomePod Mini's more affordable price. The HomePod Mini may be better suited for areas such as hallways or kitchens, while the original HomePod seems to be better suited for larger rooms where audio content is consumed more regularly, such as living rooms. Now, the main reason to buy the larger HomePod will be due to its better audio fidelity. Uh, as an extension of this, if you want to use your HomePods with an Apple TV 4K, the larger HomePod will be the preferred option. With its directional audio and spatial awareness on top of its plethora of high-end audio hardware, the original HomePod is a device for areas where sound quality is a top priority. Now in locations where the device may be used more uh, for Siri than music, the HomePod Mini seems to be the better option. Now the HomePod Mini will be better when something more discreet is needed or if it is in an area where it would be used more in passing. The HomePod Mini will still perform well in multi-room audio mode and it has a more affordable price tag which allows users to uh, acquire more of them for use around the home. Generally speaking, if you want the HomePod to achieve the best 
Possible sound quality and volume, get the original HomePod. Otherwise, the HomePod Mini will be more sufficient for your needs. So hopefully you thoroughly enjoyed this video on the original HomePod versus the regular HomePod Mini. If you did, be sure to smash the like button down below. Check out all the other videos on my channel. Follow me on all the social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. My username there is Alpcritics. Be sure to subscribe for more great content. And thanks for watching.